The First Lady traveled to the battleground state of Pennsylvania today to meet with local Latino residents. Jill Biden appeared in Allentown at an event hosted by the Congressional Hispanic Caucus this afternoon. Today we're here to talk about education and the pathways to good paying jobs, because that's how we grow the middle class. And just as Congresswoman Velasquez just said, it's how we grow Latino economic power, too, so that everyone has a place at the table. All right, so that was in Pennsylvania, and our Shauna Mizell is now in Middleville, Michigan, and she's there because the First Lady is expected to be there tomorrow for another campaign stop. Uh, Shauna, good to see you. So tell us, what will the First Lady be doing in Michigan? Caitlin, good afternoon. Great to be with you. That's exactly right. First Lady Jill Biden expected to hit Middleville, Michigan tomorrow on the heels of her Pennsylvania visit. But this will not be a campaign event. This is actually going to be Jill Biden in her official capacity as the First Lady. And she is expected to do a couple of events. One is going to be to highlight a summer nutrition program for children. And the other is going to be to highlight a program for children of wounded veterans. Now, she's making these stops either for the campaign or official, as you note, but uh, of course there is this huge elephant in the room uh, regarding the president, her husband. I'm curious how, whether you're hearing from voters about that when they are anticipating the, for the first lady's forthcoming visit and kind of the election as a whole. That's exactly right. I spoke to multiple voters here in Middletown, Michigan. A lot of them were not enthused with the prospect of the First Lady coming to visit tomorrow. But let's take a listen to what one voter, one voter told me who was not particularly keen on either Trump or Biden. For me, it's a no-win situation because the fact is, either one of them, we already know what's, what's going to happen with both of them. We've already had an example of both of them. I don't think we're going to win Michigan with a Democratic president. I think we'll win it with a Republican. So you think Trump's going to win here? I think of, out of the two evils, I, I think you're leaning that way. And that man that we just heard from also said that Jill Biden shouldn't be spending her time in a rural town like Middleville. He suggested she be in bigger cities like Lansing or Grand Rapids. And Shauna, the reason that she's there, of course, is because Michigan is a big battleground state. This is a state that could determine the uh, presidency here. Um, give us a sense of, you know, kind of the stakes in Michigan. Just how critical is this state to the election? Michigan is going to be extremely critical, but particularly for Democrats. The state has 15 electoral votes that will be up for grabs this November. And this is a state that Trump won in 2016 and Biden won in 2020. We also saw some Democratic wins during the midterm elections, but this is going to be a crucial battleground state this November. All right, Shauna Mizell on the ground for us. As always, thank you so much for your time and reporting.